All right, so I'm here with uh, one of our friends and consultants, Dr. David Schwab, talking about one click referral and how to really run a demo of the product. And you know, there's some samples of what this, what, what the result is inside of our YouTube channel, and I can send you a link to that. But I typically start with, and you can download this as a PowerPoint. Sometimes it'll run a little faster, or you can you can actually literally use this Google uh, Drive link right here. Okay. Um, and you know what we'll do is we'll probably customize a version of this for you as a consultant, um, and you know what you view as kind of the the um, the benefits of one click um, for the people that you're working with. Um, but uh, you know, and obviously change the name and whatnot, but the um you know i, I do talk, i do like to talk about the fact that we've been doing this for a long time i think it does lend some credibility there's been a lot of products that have come in and out of this space in particular uh, a lot of referral products um that are no longer around the key differentiator too is that we are the leading integration partner with the other practice management system so that that makes us a that gives us a leg above products like loop and things like that that are not integrated and the benefit there is that the, it makes it easier for the GP so they don't have to do double data entry and then for the specialist to be able to receive all the information coming right out of the other system. So we've had some, some great success stories with some of the people that we've worked on this with. Um, I do talk about the fact that, you know, we also have a dental lab component to it where we are working with, uh, we're working with Keating and Burbank and a couple of big labs um, to be able to, to do kind of a similar order process uh, through the through the system as well kind of less important for a specialist if they're looking on the referral side um, this looks better in PowerPoint so I'll have to fix this but um, you know we talk about where from a specialist perspective how they always receive or often receive incomplete referral forms um, you know you can talk about that part Waste oh yeah yes. referring office I mean you know this as well as anybody uh, we can actually add some things there and then we talk about kind of the what if and do it all with a click of a button. Mm -hmm. What I always say here on this slide is that the button is not required. It is kind of a nice marketing piece, um, mm -hmm. kind of a constant reminder of it. The other good thing about the button is it on the GP side, if the patient is sitting in front of them and they point to the button, they say this button right here is a direct line into the top specialist, let's say periodontist in the area, you're going to get a text message from them when when I hit this button to you know please schedule with them as quickly as possible to get that treatment done, you know or they can do it and then they can also have the patient in front of them and call the specialist. There's there's a lot of different routes to go there depending on the workflow that they like. Um, I also talk about the little nano button that that's good in these tight spaces where they don't really necessarily want to take up desktop space with an actual mm -hmm. button. Um, and again, really the the button is just a web key. It brings up a web page. I talked about the integrations, the importance of that. And then I kind of walked through a little step-by-step -step button, step-by-step -step demo here. You hit the button, brings up the patient. This is when in that little select patient box is where the integration comes in, where the, you know, to the practice management system, that's where they show the, a, a key piece here, David, is that the patients that are here on the top are the ones that are currently sitting in the office. So we actually have a, a tie in with the schedule so wow. we know which ones are actually in there. So those are the ones that come up to the top based on the schedule if it's integrated. Okay, uh, so you can type in a patient name, but the ones that are sitting in the office today would be at the top to make it just easy for you to find them. Yep, exactly. Um, then when they select the patient, on the back end, it loads about 50 fields of information about the patient, including you know insurance details, uh, address, all the demographics that type of thing. Then they select the procedure and this referral form is completely configurable based on the doctor. And then they can attach really large files. So we actually use the box API, which is a, um, a, a fast uploading file system. In fact, it's the same one that CareStream uses for all their imaging. Um, and so it's HIPAA compliant and uh, the images get uploaded very quickly on when they hit that, that uh, upload mm -hmm. button. And it could be you know, it could be upwards of a, it, it could be a terabyte of information if we needed to. I wouldn't suggest that, obviously. But, you know, normally these files are like 200 megs if they're CT scans and things like that. Um, and then that is stored in there and stored with the referral. So then the, the patient um, or the specialist receives a text that the referrals come over. So then they can log right into one click. 
Um, and then the patient also receives an email and a text um, saying, you know, thanks for coming in. We've referred you over. Uh, please give them a call. And then what it does is it brings them right into this office communication section where it's a really a, a chat feature where you can go back and forth to office to office and, and keep collaborating on that particular referral. Um, that's nice because it frees up the phones, right? No, no more phone calls mm -hmm. about, hey, give me this, give me that. Um, we built the system originally for the large complex group practices. So we have what, the, uh, what we call coordinators. And those are basically whoever the referral, whoever is managing that referral, right? That's who the, uh, who, who the coordinator is. Honestly, most people just go to download right here and then just download the referral and then they have it right on their desktop and put it into their practice management system. Um, and that's kind of replacing the referral slip, right? So that right. is from where I started and where I am right now, that's the referral slip, right? Literally, we're replacing the piece of paper with this electronic form. So they download it and they can use whatever they want. If they want to, excuse me, how do they, if I'm a periodontist and I'm using like DNS Perio or something, Perio exec, how do I get this information into Perio exec or do I do that? At so this today, point? a lot of them are scanning those referral slips. So they have documentation. It's kind of the same process, but you don't have to scan anything. So it's already in a PDF format. Okay. It saves it down to their downloads folder and then they gotcha. add it right into Perio exec. I yeah. got you. Um, DSN is one that we've been talking to. I mean, we need to put a little bit more pressure on Charlie to let us integrate with them. Yeah, but Charlie, um, Charlie has a Chinese view of time, you know, like 400 years, the Ming dynasty. It takes a while. Yeah, really good guy, but yeah. I know. I yeah. Know. Um, so here's where the CRM capabilities, the, the really the patient relationship management comes in where, um, you know, if, you're, if, the, if the office is leaving messages or phone tag or things like that, we want to be able to communicate internally where that patient is during the process. Um, by the way, everything that happens here is also time, date, step, and tracked right in, that, um, right in that communication view, that chat thing that I showed you about. That's, that's mm -hmm. where all of these things show up. And um, if it's canceled, declined, or scheduled, the general dentist automatically gets notified as well. That way they can either follow up why it was canceled or declined, or then they know the date that it's scheduled and they can follow up to schedule the you know, restorative part of the treatment. And so then here's what the notes look like. So if they were to leave a voicemail or email, all they would do is mm. add a disposition note, spoke with them, where's that, that type of thing. Um, and then, and, and like I said, that's all time and date stamp. For those people that have referral coordinators that are out in the field, we actually built a mobile app. And this mobile app, um, and you can take a look at it, download it, use it um, yourself, is good when they're out there meeting with other doctors and, they're, and somebody at the office says, well, you know, where is uh, Stephanie or where is uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. some of these patients in the process? And, um, and that, that's, that's how they would go about you know, figuring out where they are pretty easily in that mobile app. So, you know, the benefits, obviously, that, yeah. no, we don't need to go through that. Um, but let's talk through kind of how we go about doing the actual demo. Um, so if you go to oneclickreferral.com, you go to the login page, that's one place that you can start. Typically when I do a demo, I will um, take them through the process from the beginning. So I'll take a button, I'll plug it in and this page will come up. And the beauty of it is because of our database, we have the dentist loaded in our system. So basically it says, okay, know your location, allow. It's all geo-targeted, the button is when you plug it in. Um, and so they hit the button and what they'll do is they'll just kind of claim their profile, right? So they click right. on that. It, it should, if they already have a username or whatnot, it'll, it'll just kind of populate in there and, uh, this is something they really only have to do one time and then we know who they are after that um, so that the system will store at least their username right the password does time out just for hipaa reasons um, so when you send a referral over i'm going to send a referral from one doctor to another um, it brings up that form that i showed you kind of in the uh in the powerpoint and this is typically, if they want to see it live, I'll walk them through this piece of it. You select the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, once they select the patient, 
Um, it brings up the referral form for that particular office that they're referring to. So this is where we have a drop down of all the different specialists that they work with are right here. And then they can attach files. The other thing is when they hit the, the piece here, it'll bring up this tooth chart, mm -hmm. attach files, hit send referral. And then that's where it automatically logs them right into that chat piece. And then I'll go from there and I'll go in, I'll log in in a potentially another browser as a, um, as a specialist, right? And so the, the, the accounts that we have are, um, the demo account that I like to use is this one, the general. Um, so you log into one click as general with the password of general pound one, two, three. And then I have a specialist account that I can log into here that is, uh, you know, Perio. And so what I'll do is log in, um, log out here. And then the password is Perio pound one, two, three. Um, they may have changed it. Let me try the oral one. So I'll double check that one because we had removed a bunch of test accounts recently just to kind of streamline everything and make sure that when people are in there, they're not, they're not, uh, they don't have a bunch of, you know, test accounts that look like doctors. <laughs> right. Um, so here's what it looks like on the specialist side, you know, and, and this is how they, you know, this is, this is the referral that was, that you know, was sent over a while ago. That's where you can assign a coordinator. And this is all of that office communication that goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's they hit send. They can attach additional files there if they want to do that. Um, inside of the settings here, um, we do have profile, their location, security settings is where they have their their uh, username and password. We can also set it up for team members, where if you want to add multiple team members, when you add a team member, um, they either add them as a staff or as a um as a doctor and then they show up as the doctor um i don't know why that's down there so this part needs to be fixed but yeah so when you um you can add them as a, a team member or as another practitioner and then when they okay. refer over to them as a practitioner they show up as somebody that they can actually refer to the 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 team members don't you, you it's basically allowing them to have their own login so they can access it and then you know everything is tracked as as it came from the team member um, and then they can view everything that's gone on across the multiple doctors in there so if, if you have five referral coordinators they'll have their own logins if that's the way you want to set it up and then two doctors they'll have their own so and this thing is all configurable right so if you want to move it around make it a little okay. bit more uh, you know, and it, what happens is as we move these things around, these are the ones that show up at the top on the referral form. If we say, okay. Hey, I do mostly extractions. I'm going to put that at the top. Got it. Um, and we'll, I'll wrap it up here now, but the other pieces, as you're adding colleagues in here, you know, you can rank them A, B, C, D, which is nice to be able to track those. We have some specific things that go out based on these different types of things that we suggest. Um, as far as like email, and that's all part of the training manual uh, side, where if you go into that uh, that manual that I showed you a minute ago, and I'll, I'll bring that up in a second here, but that's or in a, in a follow up, but the training manual for implementing it as a specialist is um, it talks about how you communicate to the various types of specialists that you work with. So if it's an A, B, excuse okay. me, piece. So here's how you add a colleague. You can find them, search them, add them, and whatnot. So that's kind of the basic overview. All we can go a little bit deeper into each of them, but uh, do you now, do you um, do you provide like an onboarding for the general dentist office, or do they learn from the manual? We do. Yeah. So um, I, that's one thing that you and I could definitely talk more about. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Well, why don't we do this? Um, um, if you if you send me all those Google files, I promise to look at them carefully.